Hey, what's up? MacBook here. So today I'm going to make a quick application review on the application called Kiwi. So Kiwi is uh, a Twitter client for Mac. Mm, so there are a lot of Twitter clients out there. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a few of the main features of this application and uh, why it's better than the other ones. Um, so I may compare it with, uh, with a few other ones. We'll see. Um, so it's right in my doc here. I just launched it up. So Kiwi has a really nice and simple interface. Uh, when it launches up, uh, it's really small, and um, you can compare that a bit to Tweety. Uh, small, not too big, doesn't take up your whole screen. If you have small screens, it's an advantage um, compared to TweetDeck, which takes a lot of space most of the time. Um, so let me just go into a uh, few main features here. So first of all, you just have the timeline of all your tweets you're receiving, um, the ad replies you're getting, um, the retweets, so all the recent retweets uh, by everybody, your direct messages as well as your favorites tweets so if you're favoring tweets um, you can find them back here so that's kind of the basic in all um, Twitter clients so then here uh, totally at the left you have your users um, so you can have multiple accounts um, so you can drag this off right here and have it in a separate window um, you can have this on the foreground of every so of every space or window so it always stays on the foreground as you see this always stays on top which is uh, really handy if you want to keep up with your tweets you got a little red notification badge there uh, when you have a new tweet or a new direct message or of course a new at reply um, so you have you can have multiple accounts as well as search accounts and Tumblr accounts so let me go into the preferences here since that's where the most of the th stuff happens so I'm just going to close this off so we're here in the preferences so in the general you have a few of the general preferences what you would like to have uh, about the tweets a few different pre preferences where you want to uh, upload your images, what how you want to shorten your URLs, uh, stuff like that. Really, the basics of the Twitter clients. Uh, then you have your accounts, which is a great account manager. Um, you can have a few different accounts, um, so you can you just click on the plus, which makes a new account. You can name it. So I'm just going to make test. Uh, put in your username and your password. Or you can change the type of the account, which would be uh, Twitter shirt, Twitter user info, or Tumblr account. Um, so if you have a Tumblr account, you can uh, add that as well. So I'm just going to show you Twitter shirts quickly, um, how that works. So all this is actually is, um, it finds all the tweets with the related search. But if, for example, you're searching for something really often, or you're really interested in that topic, well, you might want to add an account for that. So, for example, you just want to search for Kiwi, uh, you're, you can add stuff like that, or um, you can add multiple searches in one account. So, I'm just going to Kiwi, or for example, if it's a topic, you want to put a uh, hashtag and then Kiwi, um, stuff like that. Um, so, you can put whatever you want, obviously, and uh, then you make your account. So, then if you, ta uh, if you go back to your main Tweety timeline, um, you can search for the test account and you can even give it your own icon. Um, so there you go. Um, so by the way, as you just saw, maybe um, if you get um, new tweets, you get a grow notification. So that's it for the main features here. Uh, now I'm going to go over one of the most, uh, one of the nicest things in Kiwi is the themes. So it has a lot of different themes. Uh, these are the basic ones. So if you just go into the preferences again in the themes, um, tab you can choose all the themes um, so there are a few default ones here you get so kiwi obviously which is the standard one when you open up kiwi um, you have a bamboo for example you just can select those and uh, boom you get right away a preview of it or a uh, paper and uh, stuff like that you can select your tweets it has little animations like this um, and um, that's kind of it oh yeah by the way a little feature i forgot to mention here uh, when there's a picture included in uh, a tweet, you can just click on it and it will automatically show you a preview. Um, I do not have a really fast internet connection right now, so that why, that's why it took a little bit of time. You can open up in your browser as well. There is a button for that, so that can always come in handy. So you've got a few, as I said, a few of the default themes here. Uh, you've can, you can get more themes, so there's a button here from the preferences, and uh, which will bring you to um, their website. Uh, kiwithemes.com where there are a lot of different themes and you can just search for those um, a lot of people made themes and you can even make you make your own theme if you want to uh, they've got some tutorials uh, on that on their website 
with the theme API, you can create your own theme. So here you can sort all the themes by recently updated, uploaded, most downloaded, alphabetical. So I'm just going to go through the most downloaded ones, since most of the time those are the best. Um, so you can just um, click on whatever and uh, download, um, and it's automatically going to start downloading. To apply those, it's really simple. Let me just minimize this. Um, to apply, once you downloaded a theme, uh, I downloaded a theme called Classy here. Just double click on it and it will automatically open it with Kiwi and it will add it to your Kiwi preferences um, as well as it will automatically uh, apply it on your actual timeline as you can see here. So I've got a little new theme and it's really easy to apply. And um, so yeah, that's really easy to make themes and apply them. Mm, so that can always come handy if you want to make your own theme. So then there's another uh, really nice feature that a lot of Mac uh, Twitter clients do not have on Mac, um, which is called rules as well in your preference uh, window. So this is quite a nifty feature. Um, you can add a rule just by clicking on the plus and um, then just calling the rule. So that can be anything, just the name of the rule. Um, and then you can find all the tweets that contain something, a word, a topic, a link. Um, so you can do a link, for example, if you want to find all tweets with a link, you can just do http to one slash slash so that you know that all links start with that. So then you're sure that all the tweets which contain a link uh, will be shown, um, will given this action. So then you have two other features, which is ignore case or use regular expressions. So ignore case, obviously I do recommend that. For especially for this rule and then you can give the action of what you want to do with it so uh, you can select a color or mark as or you can add a CSS class CSS style um, so if you don't know what CSS is it's for um, themes you can change the like the theme to uh, when there is a link in it uh, of the actual tweet so we're just going to give it the color uh, for example yellow um, so you'll see that in this theme, this depends really on each theme, but in this theme, as you see, you have those little yellow bubbles. Um, so this, for example, this tweet does not have any bubbles since it doesn't contain any links. Um, but all the, the um, tweets with links always contain a yellow bubble. So you can change the color, obviously, and the action. So that's for the rules. So that's it for my application review. Just two things I want to mention, which are uh, quite nice to have in Kiwi, is um, you can see in the doc you have a badge to how many new tweets you have, as well as in your menu bar um, you have the the Kiwi logo, which gets a color when a new tweets arrive or when there's a new tweet. Um, you can set this off if you want uh, that it shows in the menu bar or not. Um, so that's an option. So that's it for my review on Kiwi. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out their website. I'll put the link in the description at the bottom of this video. Um, so be sure to like this video. Um, thanks for watching again. Peace.